Hi, I'm Alvin Moore with Moore House Realty, and I'm here today to talk to you about the difference between pets and service animals. What is the difference between a pet and a service animal? Well, I was once in a seminar, and the director of the seminar said, you have to think of a service animal like you would think of a piece of furniture, a couch, a chair, something like that. There's actually no difference between it. Uh, the law between a service animal and a piece of furniture. You can't deny people because of the service animal. You can't add additional rent. You cannot uh, change the terms of their lease based on their service animal. A service animal is an animal that creates a service for a person. It could be any kind of animal. Cat, dog, pig, hamster, fish, goldfish. A service animal, all it needs to have is a letter from an authorized health professionals, such as a doctor, a pharmacist, a psychologist, psychiatrist, that's what makes a service animal a service animal. A pet, on the other hand, you can have a pet policy, and you have to make sure you're doing it systematically, but the pet policy can say that there's an additional deposit, there's additional rent, and if there's any damage, there'll be additional charges. You can deny people based on the breed of pet if it's not covered by the insurance or if it's not covered in your policy or if you simply don't want pets in your property. You cannot make that distinction for a service animal. A service animal, you cannot add rent, you cannot deny them based on their breed, you cannot tell them that they cannot come into your property based on having a service animal. A service animal does not have any sort of cer certification. There's no across the board certified service animal. If you come across a service animal certification, it's a fraud or it's just there for looks. There is no official service animal guide other than it is provided by the healthcare professional who says that a pet is um, a service animal. You can ask that they uh, have insurance to cover the, any sort of damage, but you cannot deny them. If your pet policy has specifications on the type of insurance like certain breeds are not covered by certain insurance companies or certain kinds of animals are not covered by certain insurance companies, you can deny someone based on the type of animal they have or you can request that they get their own insurance which names that type of pet or breed. Any sort of damage that is caused by the pet, of course it goes on just like any sort of damage that's caused in general. If a chair is bumped up against the wall, if a couch is bumped up against the wall, it causes damage to the house, that is damage that the tenant caused. If the pet or service animal, either one, causes damage to the property, again, you can charge the tenant for that when they move out. But as far as denying someone for their service animal, you can't do it. And you have to make sure that you're allowing service animals so that you're in compliance with the law as it's stated in Florida Statute Chapter 83. I'm Alvin Moore, and this has been another uh, edition of tips and tricks to make your property management experience better. Thank you.